Please, can we just rise and pray for our beloved country? Can you, as you are rising, just tell the Lord, I love Nigeria. Can we all just begin to declare that we love our nation? I love Nigeria. How many of us love Nigeria? Can you just wave onto the Lord? Let the Lord see your hand in this house. Just waving and saying, Lord, I love my nation. I'm thankful that I'm a Nigerian. I give you praise. I give you worship. I give you reverence. I'm not a Nigerian by accident. I have a purpose to play in this nation. Thank you for this nation, Nigeria. I worship you and I give you praise. I give you reverence. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's thank the Lord that we are a young nation. You know, many nations. I remember there was a time that uh, my sister was, her husband was an ambassador, and they were paying women to have children in a particular country because the women were not having children. And so there were about 80% of the population of that country were all over 50, 60. And so it was becoming a problem for the nation. But we thank God that God has blessed us with so many children, so many teenagers, so many youths. Can we just celebrate God for the teenagers and the youths in our nation? And just thank the Lord for them. Just bless the Lord. 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 Let's thank him. Let's also thank him that our youths are doing exploits. They are doing exploits all over the world. Can we just bless, bless the Lord for that? You know, uh, I was listening to, um, if, not listening to, the, the son of, the, of my nanny, who is now in uh, Canada, gave sent a testimony that his son was first student all over, the, all over Canada for a particular uh, subject. That is, uh, that, she, she was my nanny. And her son is now doing that exploit. Let's, let's clap onto the Lord. The Lord is doing a lot of things that we don't even know about. And because we know that he's doing these things, we can trust him for what we have not yet seen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now I, want to, I want us to quickly go to Psalm 60. Psalm 60. Psalm 60. Please, can you just open with me to Psalm 60 quickly? Verse 6, it says, God has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Sheshem and meet out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of mine head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Philistia, triumph thou because of me. Triumph thou, Nigeria, because of me. Who will bring me to the strong city? Who will lead me to Edom? Will not thou, O God, which, had not, which has cast us off, and thou, O God, which didst not go out with our armies, give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God, Nigeria shall do valiantly, for it is he that shall tread down our enemies. Can we begin to pray unto this God that we, we know that is able to tread down our enemies. He said, through him, Nigeria will do valiantly. We are not depending on anybody. We are not depending on any man. The Bible says that they that rely on Egypt, they and Egypt will fall. That is clear. But we are depending on the Lord God of, of hosts. We are depending on the lion of the tribe of Judah. We are depending on the rock of ages. It was dependent on in 2 Chronicles 20 and we saw the triumph of the nation of Israel over a multitude of enemies. He was relied on in judges when Gideon and 300 men went to fight multitudes that were like, the Bible says they were like grasshoppers but 300 men with the help of the lion of the tribe of Judah defeated and destroyed that army. So can we just begin to pray this morning, Lord help us help us, we ask for help, we come to, to you this morning to ask for help for Nigeria against our enemies in the mighty name of Jesus he said he will give us help from trouble, it doesn't matter the trouble we are facing, God is able to give us help from that trouble, we can read through scriptures as many nations have went through trouble Israel was a nation that was troubled, but up to today we see the way that God keeps helping them, so this morning I want you to lift up your hands and begin to cry out lord help us help us the bible says where does our help come our help comes from the lord who made heaven and earth he will not suffer nigeria to be moved he will not suffer nigeria
Nigeria to be destroyed. He will not suffer Nigeria to be overcome. He will not suffer Nigeria to be tread down. He said it is he that will help us to tread down our enemies. Can I hear the voice in the house crying, Lord, help us. Help us in the name of Jesus. We need your help, oh God. We need help against our enemies. The enemies within, the enemies without. The enemies in government, the enemies outside government. We are asking for help. The help again, we need help against the enemies that want to destroy the economy of this nation. We need help against those that are killing our youths. We need help against those who want to destroy life. We need help against every enemy of this nation. Lord, help us. Lord, help us. We have no other help but you. God loves it when you are relying on his help. The Bible says Uzziah was marvelously helped by God and it became exceedingly great. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. We have no other help. We have no other God but you. We have no other God. You will do what no man can do. We have no other God but you. We have no other God but you. You have done what no man has done. Yes, Lord Jesus. You will do what no man can do. We have no, we have no other God but you. In Nigeria, we have no other God but you. You have done, you have done what no man has done. Our second uh, scripture is taken from Isaiah 7 7. Can we just quickly go to Isaiah 7 7? The Lord will do what no man can do in this nation. Isaiah 7 verse 7. Father, we thank you. Thank you because you are a faithful God. I read from verse 4. It says, And say unto him, Take heed and be quiet. Fear not, fear not, neither be faint hearted for the two tails of this smoking fire brands, for the fierce anger of Rezim and Syria and of the sons of Remia. Because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Remalia have taken even counsel against thee, saying, Let us go up against Nigeria and vex it, and let us make a breach therein for us, and set a king in the midst of it, even the son of Tabal. Thus saith the Lord God, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Can you begin to declare this morning that whatever the enemy has planned against this nation, it shall not stand. It shall never come to pass. Can you raise up your voice and begin to cry out? Every plan, every counsel that is contrary to the counsel and the purpose of God for Nigeria, we stand according to this word. He says it shall not stand. He said they are vexed against you. There's anger in this particular Isaiah. They had planned, they had plotted. They had, there was so much rage against, against, against the nation. And the Bible says he said, it shall not stand. It shall never come to pass. It shall not stand. Whatever is the counsel of the enemy against Nigeria, against Lagos State, against any state in this nation, it shall not stand. It shall never come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, we agree with the word of God. The Bible says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of, my tes of his testimony. And the word of God concerning Nigeria is that it shall not stand. Can we all scream that word? It shall not stand. It shall never come to pass. Can I hear everybody declare that word now? It shall not stand. It shall never come to pass. The counsel of the wicked over Nigeria shall not stand. It shall never come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. 
you hasten your word to perform it for that is what we declare and that is what we see we see victory and we see the defeat of the enemy in jesus mighty and victorious name amen